laugh was insane. <laughs> Welcome back. My name is Addie of What Loves Clothing, where we love everything vintage, thrift, secondhand, and self-expressive. I am so excited today. I know I feel like I say that every time that I'm posting a video because I genuinely love getting to do this, but I am so, so excited today because we are going thrifting and I have not been thrifting in three months. It's been a long time. It's been pretty much since like Shepard was four weeks i don't know it's the longest that i've ever not gone thrifting like since i started the whole well-loved thing and so it feels really crazy to be out thrifting today so today we are looking for some amazing vintage but i'm also looking for just some pieces for me i keep a pretty constant thrift list and right now i'm just looking for a lot of basics and i'm looking for jeans i'm looking for any pants that fit me because i feel like i really want to wear pants recently and since i'm a new size after having a baby i need to find some pants that actually fit so i am definitely looking looking for dresses always. I realized that I need some dresses with longer sleeves because I like to wear a lot of vests, but I don't have very many that like have a sleeve that looks cute with a vest. So we're looking for something like that. It is getting a little warmer, so we'll also be thrifting for some spring pieces. And yeah, I'm just excited. So let's get in here and start thrifting. <laughs> Oh, we are starting off so strong. I found this amazing bed jacket with these adorable details. I love the little yoke and the embroidery. It has this beautiful ruffle all over the edges, including on the end of this cute little puff sleeve. I love these ruffles at the bottom. It's just detailed so beautifully and would pair so well with just jeans and boots, but also could be a fun kind of styling piece. So we're definitely gonna try this. This is so funky. I grabbed it off the rack and I was immediately drawn to this texture on the front and the fringe and this green and tan kind of mix, but it's actually crocheted with leather pieces in here. And I think this texture would be great layered with other textures and it plays like a neutral because it has those browns, but the greens add a little pop so you could do even more color play with it. I've been loving styling vests, so we're definitely gonna try this on. One thing I am on the hunt for are graphic t-shirts. I'm realizing that I just wanna reach for a simple graphic tee to put under some fun coats or kind of act as a pattern when I'm doing some pattern mixing. And this is a very cute one, so we'll try this. Love this pattern. I was immediately drawn to how simple but still vibrant this pattern is. And upon closer inspection, has these cute little ties on the hemline. Is a great flowy fabric with a perfect bigger collar and is a vintage little shirt. So this would be a great piece for spring. And I think I'm looking for some button downs that are patterned too, because I love the idea of popping them out of a dress or a sweater, so this is good. I am sweating. I am so excited. I don't know if it's just been because I haven't been thrifting in so long or if the finds are just so good because they're good, but everything is amazing and I'm having the best time. <laughs> <laughs> this is a little Madewell vest. I love the fabric of this. It's kind of thin knit, but has a little bit of a nylon-y feel to it, which I think adds a little sheen, which is just a great detail to look for those pieces that just have a little bit of a standout. I love the border on it, these little crossover buttons in the front, and it feels really nice. This is in great condition for a secondhand piece, and I think it would be really fun to figure out how to wear this as a top and layered. I've become such a big fan of these chunky collared shirts. I love this little floral one, and the black and pink is so cute. It's Anthropology brand Maeve, so it's a really well-made shirt, and the actual shirt material is like a sweater knit, so it has some great details that take it to a different level. I'm not a huge fan of black, but I do think that this would work because of the collar and the pink, but I also think that one of you would love this, so I'm gonna try this on and we'll see. There's been a couple of graphic tees that make me giggle, starting with this avocado toast one. Love it. We have a winner in the graphic tee department. Live fast, pet dogs, yes. <laughs> Moving on to some bottoms, and I thought that this was a little skirt, but it's actually an apron, and I'm so tempted to get this. It's just a little skirted front apron, and I need some aprons for when I bake because I am a, such a messy baker, and this is just adorable. I'm liking these pants. The color immediately stood out to me. They are super wrinkled, but I think they're linen. There's no tag, so no telling what the fabric is, but you can kind of see that cross hatch pattern that linen has a lot of times. I also love the tie waist and the elastic. I don't know if they look too much kind of like scrubs or PJs, but I do really like them. 
I am a sucker for plaid shorts, especially this trouser shape. And they have like mint green and brown on this really great textured fabric. It's really soft. And then it has these elastic tabs that almost look like someone actually added these later, but that really cinch in the waistband, which gives these shorts an even better shape once they're on. So I really love these and I hope they fit. What a fun pop of color this pant would be with any outfit. The fabric is super silky and flowy. The fabric is super silky and flowy and has that little sheen to it, which I think is so fun to just pair with any kind of casual piece to add a pop to an outfit. They are just Zara brand. I don't know if I love the quality of them, but they are really cute. The colors in this skirt are absolutely everything. The brown, this yellow, I love the floral over the top of this kind of patchwork feel. I have another skirt that has a similar patchworky look, but it's a lot brighter and I wear it all the time. It's my orange and green one. Don't know if you've seen it, but this reminds me of it in more of like a cottagey prairie look. It's also reversible, so double the wear. I'm absolutely going to try this on. Through tops and a little bit of pants, I found a ton of tops, which is surprising. I don't usually find that many but I'm gonna go through dresses and we'll see what we can find. Oh my goodness, right off the bat, we found this amazing checked dress. I love the big collar with this ruffle on the edge of it. And then it has this fun balloon sleeve that starts at the elbow and ends with a piece of elastic. So a very interesting sleeve silhouette that I haven't really seen much of, but the color of this check is so cute and the fabric is really great. Even though it's a modern brand, it is pretty solid quality. Hopefully this will fit me. The coats are kind of in the same corner and this beautiful lavender coat just popped out at me. The texture on this with this like teddy coat furry feel is so right now but I've never seen it in this like purple so I love the idea of pushing those two more trendy things together in this peacoat style but it wouldn't fit me and has a lot of stains so I don't think I'm gonna try it okay someone dropped off like a whole collection of linen dresses and I just found so many good ones so I'm gonna show you some of them starting with this amazing yellow it has these beautiful pockets I'm hoping that this fits because this is so up my alley and I would wear this all summer long but I think it'd also be fun to like layer under this maybe do a turtleneck and kind of wear linen in like off season but I also found this is not linen but I think it's the same person because it's a little pinafore dress that has this like overall detail on the front it's long this tan color I might get this and dye it because I would love to have a little pinafore dress like this. I've been looking for one, but I haven't really found one that fits my style yet. So love this, love the little waist ties. We're definitely gonna try that on. There were some that someone took all the buttons off of. So I'm wondering if they like flipped something and used thrifted buttons, which love that for them. Hate that for the piece because it's kind of not usable because it has all these buttonholes, but I know how to sew. So I can put buttonholes on it. My bangs are not staying where they're supposed to be. So we're dealing with it, but I think that this would be such a beautiful dress. It's long. It's this beautiful lightweight. I think it's linen. It feels like it might have some cotton in there too, but love this. Also found this little buttery yellow kind of pinafore one with the pockets on the front. Last but not least, found a skirt overalls. This is shorts, but it has a little skirt piece over the front. So I love this. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I'm back at the coats and I am screaming. This is so good. It's showing up on the camera as really red, but it's kind of like a deep burgundy color. It's a vintage pleather jacket. So it's not real leather and you can kind of see it with the wear in this like breaking of the plastic, but I am trying this on. I have a special place in my heart for these tapestry coats. I feel like I find one every time I go thrifting. So I don't need more, but this one is really beautiful. It's a different kind of pattern than I've seen before with these geometric and floral combinations. I just thought this was so cute. Okay, I've gone through pretty much everything. I'm gonna do a quick run through fabric and kids clothes um, before I try everything on, but I have a lot. <laughs> gone through everything I am about to try some stuff on I have a really full cart so let's do this <laughs> Okay, we're starting with jeans today because I really need a new pair of jeans. These ones are hand-me-downs from my mom and I love them, but they don't really fit either of us anymore. So I might sell those, but I'm also wearing them like under sweaters and stuff. And I have a little elastic in the back of them, but I'm trying these on today. These are just Rue 21. So 
I don't love the fit. I think that they fit better than I expected them to, but I do love the little cargo pocket. I want them to be, I think, a little bit wider at the leg and to fit me just a little better at the waist. They're kind of right above my belly button instead of like waist where I like them. But I do love this little t-shirt. I am big into the like button up sweaters right now. I feel like it's trendy, but I also feel like it's a really vintage look. So I am loving the kind of cream color of this. It's a little yellowy, kind of warm. So still in my color palette, but let's try on some more jeans. Loving the fit on these, but they are just a little bit too big, like half a size really, because I just have a little bit of room in here. So these might be a really good option for kind of that day that I want to wear sweatpants, but still want to be put together in kind of a jeans look. The only thing is they bunch kind of funny here because they're just a little bit too big. So I do really like the fit of them. They're super flattering, but still kind of wider leg, kind of boyfriend jean and super stretchy. So we'll see, but I like them. These are not going to button, but I like the shape. <laughs> Okay, so I pulled these because they're Carhartt and I really like the idea of having those like lower rised menswear kind of jeans. I feel like that's very in right now, but really easy to thrift. And so I found these Carhartts and they fit pretty well, actually. I think they might be men's and so they're a little bit straighter, like they're kind of loose back here, but fitted here. I kind of like it. I kind of like the idea of an oversized sweater or sweatshirt with this. We'll see, but that is all for the jeans. We're gonna move on to all the fun stuff now. Love this little skirt. It is such a cute little plaid and I like the length of it that it's kind of like this above knee but not super short kind of thing. It is like that trouser short sort of feel, especially because the way that it fits with just this little wrap over the top, it still kind of looks more like shorts than a skirt. But I love the fit. I love how high rise they are and they're just really cute. I've been looking for a mini skirt, but I feel like this is probably more in line with what I would wear. So this is either coming with me to keep herself. We'll see. But I love this little combo too. Very like vintage schoolgirl. <laughs> I am in love with this. I have been looking for a leather kind of blazer, a little more oversized. I think I want it to be a little more like collegiate oversized feel, like bomber, but I love this jacket, this like oxblood kind of color. Super popular right now and also really fun. Only thing is it's pleather, but it is vintage. I don't know, it's just really cute and I feel like it would be so fun to just throw over even simple outfits like this. This skirt. I feel like it's every color in my wardrobe that I really love and it has that sort of cottage core feel. So I'm really, I'm definitely getting this. Whether to wear it a couple times and then pass it your way, I think it's also really cute tucked up to make it a mini skirt, but I'm just loving it. It's also reversible. So it is, it does have this other little blue pattern in here, which I think is really fun to have such versatile pieces to wear a bunch of different ways. I did pair it with this yellow sweater. I do think this is too bright and I'm not a fan of v-neck so i don't love this on me but i do love this 80s kind of fit with the dolman sleeve and i do think that it could be really cute it does have this little like band at the bottom so i might get this to sell because it's just so good and such a good vintage sweater but it's not really my thing i think this is definitely a better use of the yellow sweater because it has this yellow in the skirt but i really love the kind of muted tone with the bright tone so this is like the perfect plaid skirt to me it's super lightweight not really heavy i just love the style of this the length is a little bit shorter than i like but it's such a perfect color for my closet that i think i'm gonna get it because i need a skirt like this i loved this skirt but it does not fit me the color is so cute the stripes are great but sadly does not fit. Okay, loving this combo. I have been looking for some patterned pants that are kind of like this. I don't know if the horizontal stripe or the vertical stripe is really all that good, but I do think they're pretty cute. They're like a deep evergreen and white, and I think we could do a lot of really fun pairings with these, especially with how comfy they are. I do think they need to be a little lower waisted, but I love them paired with the graphic tee, and I actually have a suede vest I'm going to throw on with them in a second, but I just think this is kind of that like streetwear easy look. Even doing this untucked over the top would be really cute. So I'm liking the idea of pairing these with just a lot of interesting things. Even do some pattern mixing with them or layering like longer little white things over the top I think would be really fun. So 
We'll see. I really love them though. Okay, yeah, the suede vest actually makes me really love these pants. I feel like this is such a cute addition and this is very much so the kind of style that I'm going for right now. I feel like I just need a little pair of like utility boots, cowboy boots, maybe a baseball cap. I actually got a little Grand Canyon hat that I think would be so cute with this kind of look. Very street style, so big fan. <laughs> nursing bra <laughs> that I'm wearing today but I love this it's so flattering and so cute it feels like the perfect little summer dress I think that the suede vest and some boots would look really cute with this too kind of going into early spring but it's just so simple and still not like super short but shorter than I normally wear so I love the little spaghetti straps I think it's really flattering and just so cute even like tied up t-shirt little crop sweater amazing i love this such a good basic okay i'm so sad that this does not fit it is just kind of pulling everywhere and i'm not gonna show you the bottom of it even though it's a dress because i can't button it up all the way so it just won't go past my hips but i love the collar i love the sleeve it's so fun and the checkered print the brown and white i love this and it is just pretty little things but it's just so cute and I love a collar like this so I might honestly get it and crop it and just make it like a shirt to wear under some things or just with jeans because these are my favorite kinds of things with all the details on them. Um, I am still pulling at this because it does fit. I think my bra just makes everything really big today too but <laughs> really cute. I really want to get it. How precious is this dress? It doesn't fit me. It's much too big but I just love it and I might even get it to make it fit me because it's just so sweet. All the prairie touches, these little fabrics are just precious. They feel kind of nightgowny, but it's kind of current right now anyway. The little ribbon to tie bows, the little square neck with the ruffle, the shirred waist, and then just the length and the tears. Everything about this is just so perfect. It's so good. I found a ton of these little vintage pinafore kind of pieces, a lot of them in linen too. So I'm going to try a bunch on, some with shirts, some without, depending, but I love this one. I buttoned it, it does button all the way down the side, but I just buttoned it enough to count because it's a lot of buttons. But it's just this little blue plaid. I think it would be so cute with a little turtleneck, kind of play with that 90s feel, but also wearing it like this in the summer is just perfect. I also think it would be cute. I don't know, maybe with a little something over it, kind of wear it like a skirt. Lots of options with these sort of pieces since they're sort of plain, but still have a little bit of detail with that funky thing, so love it. Okay, I love the idea here. These are way too big. So cute, and it's really hard to find this like oatmeal-y color for overalls especially, but I am really excited about this button-down. I've had a button-down that was like this years ago, but I wore it so much that the buttons fell off. Maybe I sold it. Maybe I sewed them back on and sold it. I don't remember, but I went through a season where I just never wore it, and so... I am really excited to have a new one, especially in this kind of crisp white. I've just been loving these over graphic tees with jeans and even with overalls, I think it's really cute. Just adding a little pop of pattern and color. So very cute. I'm not trying this one on right now because I don't know, I just don't feel like it. I'm getting tired and I have so much more to try on, but really cute little slip dress. Okay, I love the fit of these overalls. The front bib is actually only supposed to come up this high and then the shorts are just like the perfect length and worn the perfect amount. I really love them. They fit, but not like too, too tight or anything. My favorite part though, these little straps, they're Route 66 straps. Can't even tell what it says on them anymore because I'm pretty sure they're super stretched out. So I don't know how I could salvage that but I really love them, especially with this little top. It feels like this and boots would be a fun kind of Western sort of country nod. I love this so much. I love this. I feel like it's so rare to find a little overall kind of dress that actually fits in like a sort of flattering way. And I think with the little waist tie, this can make it really flattering, but you can also untie it and just make it like loose and easy, which is probably the way that I would wear it more often. Don't know why I'm talking about flattering. It's not like I 
really care but <laughs> i love the little bucket pockets the buttons on the side the front pocket so it feels very overally i really just love the 90s feel of this i wanted to show you this amazing dress with this purple shirt or with the red shirt the purple with red because i just love purple and red together i think it's such a fun combo could be really funky interesting with this buttoned up not the best fit on this dress but the ruffles and the length make it worth it. I feel like you could do a really fun little crop sweater and maybe even take this in a little bit or wear like a little belt over it and it would be really cute, but also could be just a fun kind of column dress. I do think this is supposed to be a little higher. The straps are super loose right now, but I'm really just loving the possibilities of this amazing ruffle and it's linen. I just love this. Such cute little squirt overalls i've never seen a piece like this before i love the darker wash on it this bib kind of feels like core city the way it's shaped up here and i think that's really cute with this kind of like feminine skirted feel has some little carpenter kind of feels though to it too and i just love this i love the oversized feel of it it is a little bit big for me but again sell it or i would wear it this way especially with the oversized button down i think it's just kind of fun casual would also do it with like a really simple tank top and a bunch of chain jewelry maybe even like a little booty come spring summertime it's still too early for that it's still kind of cold here but i love kind of thinking about that so super fun i love the simplicity of this dress it's such an amazing shape it's linen in this beautiful color and i feel like it has a lot of drama just kind of on its own but my favorite part are these little sideways pockets i feel like it's such a fun detail and i think this would be so cute even though i just took off the red button down with the red button down over the top of it maybe a little hat a little booty i just feel like my thing right now is just all of those like simple layers and a baseball cap just really easy to run around in i do have multiple dresses in this color but it's because i wear them all the time so it might be nice to have a different kind of silhouette of one so cute this is that super funky fun vest i just love this the texture is amazing it has that kind of crocheted with the leather on it the colors are super fun and the fringe is super fun too i feel like it's a great length also just right below that like hip line but i mean it has the little like tag in here so i can't completely pull it down the way it's supposed to be but i just really like it i kind of wish that the design continued but i also don't think it really matters and i am very much on my vest kick recently so i do like that feels very hippie <laughs> this feels kind of like a baby tee and i never really like my shirts to be super fitted but i do like the design on it i think it's kind of fun so i don't think i'm gonna get it but i do think i need similar layers to this i just don't love the like super short sleeve on me don't know why it's just a shape that i've never been a fan of i do really love these shorts though they're just a tiny bit too tight but just barely so i think the pattern is super cute on them the length is great i'm a big fan of trouser shorts so we're gonna try on just a bunch of different tops now because i have so many and i'm real tired so let's just do a quick try on <laughs> I think you could do some really cute kind of um, Pride and Prejudice style looks with this. It feels like it could go very Victorian with like a little frilly kind of white button down under it, but also really cute on its own with some high-waisted jeans or just with shorts like this. I really love it. I love the texture of this skirt. It feels just like one of those blankets kind of says it is mainly cotton a little bit of acrylic but i love the pattern on it i feel like i was just looking at a bunch of fashion week pictures and a lot of the street style had these really textured skirts and dresses and i feel like that's just what this is i don't know if it's too wintry for right now for me to get but i could also just sell it for like I don't know something cheaper so that someone could get such a good deal on it to wear next year but it fits really beautifully i love the length i love the colors in it i think you could add a bunch of really fun colors to this and it would kind of act as a neutral the brown's really rich i don't know if you can tell that but i also really like it just with a t-shirt i do think that suede vest again would be so cute over the top of this making it maybe a little western with like a hat but i do think that it would be really cute with like oversized stuff over it too since the fit is so nice but really really loving this I don't even know what to say. This is so amazing. This is an ASOS dress or ASOS. I don't know how to say it, but 
this is just beautiful i love all of the detail on this i would probably put a little turtleneck under here and wear this as like a holiday dress but i love the little fringy detail at the bottom how cute this little point is really fun so it feels kind of longer it's not like such a mini dress but even doing a big sweater over this i've been loving seeing all the sequin outfits um with like the big sweaters over the top it is just kind of backless and short back here too with that point but it's so beautiful and i am just in shock because it's also three dollars which is absolutely insane so this is so good it's also just a little bit big for me but i feel like i have to get it because it also still kind of fits in a really beautiful way so okay i tried everything on and i'm exhausted but we're gonna go through this mess of a situation and figure out what we're gonna get for ourselves to sell and then we're gonna go eat some lunch because i'm so hungry so let's do this fast <laughs> I just found some stuff that I didn't try out in the fitting room, so I'm just gonna show you real quick because I'm not going back in to try stuff on. <laughs> that was absolutely insane. I think that was probably the most I've ever thrifted. Maybe not the like absolute most. But definitely up there, that was like 35 things for, I think my total was like $94, which is insane. And I got some stuff for you guys, got some stuff for me. Either way, I'm probably gonna do a whole thrift haul on whatnot, because I think that would be a really fun way to just show you all of these pieces. I might also do a thrift haul here so that it lives on because there's so many goodies in this thrift haul. So if you wanna join me for that sale next Thursday, click the link below in order to download the app, create your account, get $15 off your next order and come shop with me. But thank you for trying on all these pieces. I will see you next week. You are well loved, bye.